The Russians have just announced today that they have successfully landed a man on the other side of Patrick Moore. <laughs> <laughs> You know, darling, I'm a wonderful housekeeper. Every time I get a divorce, I keep the house. Hello, good evening, hi there, greetings, felicitations, all the best, thank you and good night. First, how many people here do not use an underarm deodorant? No, don't put your hands up, please, please. Thank you very much indeed, Frank. I want to tell you, we have a really wonderful singer here, a young boy. I want to tell you very much indeed. His name is Mr. Gene Pitney. We want to see him. Thank you so much. <laughs> Dearest, darling, I have to lie to say that I won't be home anymore. Cause something happened to me. Mm. I turn to why nobody needs me. Excuse me, Mr. Newley. Could you stop walking up and down? You're making a bit of a trench here. Just stand still. Stand still when you're singing from the top. My heart wants to know, and so I must go where destiny leads me. Excuse me, Mr. Newley. What's all this? Have you got a cold? <laughs> Keep your hands still. It's your side, like that. Sing like that. Keep still. With now who is there to guide me? And no one beside me. Sorry, Mr. Newton, I'm sorry to break up. We're singing far too loud. Can you stand back a little bit from the mic? Thank you. <laughs> I'll go on my way. And after the day, the darkness will hide me. Too loud, Mr. Newton. Can you move back a bit more? Thank you. <laughs> And maybe tomorrow I'll find what I'm after. Uh, Mr. Newley, please, it's still too loud. Can you move back a little further? Back? <laughs> right, from the top. Who can I turn to when nobody needs me? Boris Karloff here. My last film was a horror movie in, in which I was attacked and savaged by a vase of daffodils. <laughs> you may have seen it. It was called The Wild Bunch. <laughs> said a bit of bad news. A cousin of mine was killed at a pheasant shoot. Pheasant shot him. Hi, guys and girls. It's me, Jimmy Shavel, over here in the hand of the heart again. Now, hi there, guys and girls. Now, here's the number one song in the country and climbing fast. The artist singing is so great that all I can say is clunk your clanker and have the heart and clunk your clonk. Walking along, minding my business, went out of an orange colored sky. I hear bang, crash, hell person. Wonderful you came by. Well, how's about that then? That was, of course, Nat King Kong. Larry <laughs> Fitzgerald and Dean Crosby in Going My Way. Well, 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 Father O'Malley, and what have you been doing today? Oh, Father, it's giving up and button baseball around the block with the boys. And would you be after singing my favorite song for me? 
Achal, Achal, Achal. educated spoons. Now let's meet our next sponsor. <clears throat> How do you do, old son? Who are you? Well, guys and girls, we have now a top of the pot, so how's about that then? We have now a guys and girls, we have the hair, the hair, the hair, the hair. <laughs> Is that with two Fs? <laughs> no. It's really like... <laughs> That's really tremendous, old son. And who are you going to introduce to us on the show here tonight? Well, hand the 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 And now, my impression of that king of the gangster merchants, Yankee Doddle himself, the one and only James Kegley. <laughs> you dirty rat. I made a millionaire out of my husband. When we met, he was a billionaire. Right, Pike. Remove the pin and throw the grenade as I showed you. Uh, Captain Mandarin, uh, how long do I wait before I throw it? Count of three should suffice. Uh, one. Thought even you would know that, Pike. Uh, come on, Captain Mandarin. Get on with it, Pike. Uh, all right, Captain Mandarin. Uh, two. Uh, hurry up, Pike. Uh, three. <laughs> Stupid boy. Yesterday I bought Elizabeth the world's largest diamond. It's double the size of anything previously found. And I couldn't wait to give it to her. And when I did, she went ecstatic with joy. She grabbed me, she hugged me, she kissed me all over. And when you can imagine, it's true what they say. A double diamond does work wonders. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Ethel Merman. Things look swell. Things look great. Don't I have the whole world on it? What did you think of that impression? <laughs> well, friends sang it tremendously. It's time now to meet our next new sponsor here on our all newcomer show. He's got a really great new act with a new approach. And that's the end of the news. Here's our sponsor. <clears throat> Excuse me. How do you do, old son? Who are you? Deep joy, suffering most for this. <laughs> you see, whole hot peggers on the leg loads and strokey for this, all nice leg <laughs> for Oh, yes, deep joy. Well, that's really wonderful. And who are you going to introduce to us here on the show tonight? A little boy grown up with singing from the same screw from different walk hoes and thumbing hump, hitchhiking and walk down frost peggers again. <laughs> well, thank you tremendously, Mrs. Navarro. <laughs> And so, friends, for Arthur Mallard, impressionist from Walworth, Opportunity Knocks.
Good evening, and hello to all you out there in television land. For my first impression, uh, impersonation, uh, imitation, call it what you will. And if you do, I'll knock your teeth down your front. <laughs> For my first take off, the legendary Marlene Dietrich. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> danger, danger, fish committing suicide. The Benny Hill Show, tonight at 8 on Plus. Chat and date line today, and you could find your dream date. Call 0906 20 20 20 20. Call the virtual chat and date line. It's a great way to make friends on the phone. Get straight in on the action and call 0906 20 20 20 20. So go on, get in there. Call 0906 20 20 20 20. That's 0906 20 20 20 20. Call now. What moves at 65,000 miles an hour? Planet Earth. If you have an invention, call 0800 1234 11 for your free inventor's kit. That's 0800 1234 11. Call now. The world isn't slowing down. Sha -la 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 -la. One tell now on 0800 634 1855. That's 0800 634 1855 and register today. You tell your friends about One Would you like to find out more about keeping a successful aquarium? Like which fish you can put together and which you can't? And what's the right way to introduce new fish so you can avoid this? Find out in Practical Aquarium, a new publication that gives you the facts about each breed and how to look after them. It's packed with helpful advice, like why to change different amounts of water for different fish, or which kind of lighting to choose and why. Practical Aquarium. Part one comes with a free thermometer and net. Tick, tick, tick it all night long. <laughs> Some cheese. <laughs> Hail and pay, Saturday at 9.30 on Plus. <laughs> Good morning, Mrs. Craddock. Good Hello. I want some virgin sturgeon. <laughs> well, I'm uh, afraid we're right out of the virgin ground, you know. But uh, I've got some here to put up a good fight. <laughs> I'd like to give you an little bit of Hamlet by me, this Elvis present. This is by William Shakespeare. Thank you very much, Lee. Thank you, Hamlet. <laughs> To be or not to be, baby. There's the question. <laughs> Where it is nobler than the mind to serve the slings and arrows and outrageous fortune. Since my old baby left, and the fan in your tail to tell. It's down at the end of a long street. Must not call Honorable Father Pops. But Pops, that's only broken English. <laughs> What's that? Broken China.
darling, can you explain to me how this lipstick got on your collar? No, I can't. I distinctly remember taking my shirt off. <laughs> well, friends, thank you. The Chesterfield Senior Citizens Nude Formation Dance Team. They were really wonderful, I want to tell you. <laughs> thank you very much. Just give a little rub down, she'll be okay. Friends, friends, I want to tell you now, let's see who our first sponsor is tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, madam. <laughs> tell me, what's your name? Well, our first scene, my name's always present on the first scene of Slam Dude, baby, so I want to say this. Oh, that's really wonderful. <laughs> In a jumbo jet? Well, that's all I want to first thing. I just want to shave my legs, baby. Not first thing I want to do. Tell me, who you're going to sponsor tonight? Well, yeah, first thing I want to do is I want to shave my legs. Well, I want to be honest with you. I want to first thing I want to Well, that's really wonderful. And what does he do? Well, it's one of us. One of us. All of me. I just want to show you about it. It's one first thing I want to scream. He does impressions. No. Well, that's all I want to do. I want to first thing I want to swatch the girl off last. Well, ladies and gentlemen. To Mr. Arthur Mullet of Bilston Garden City Opportunity Knocks. We want to see him. Let's hear it, Frank. Let's hear it. Good evening to all my fans of my titles. Hi there. <laughs> For my first skit tonight, here is my impression of that tough of the silver screen, Carrie Brown. <laughs> Judy, Judy, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Who are you, shut up. <laughs> hey, I was out with a sail last night. Ooh, it was oh, a devil. I know, I was saying, no oh, sailors. Remember young Winnie Crown from the Belgians? Oh, Winnie Crown. She went on board a battleship during Navy Day. What happened? Don't know, but some lovely postcards arrived from Hong Kong. Me. <laughs> when you're the father of boys, how you worry. But when you're the father of girls, you do more than that, you pray. From the time of diaper and pain, till the time she cries, don't come in. Till the time you gown them in white. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day for rushing into the Queen's private bathroom in Buckingham Palace, <laughs> pulling the chain and saying, How's that for a royal flush? <laughs> and now, brethren, before the sermon, I just make myself comfy. <laughs> now, you know, it has been said that a good sermon should be like a lady's skirt. Short enough to retain the interest, but long enough to cover the essentials. Yes! <laughs> Look, those gold dirty pages do run off with my wife. Can I borrow your horse? Okay, but it'll make you a mighty poor substitute. <laughs> I'll be your clone, I'll be your 
right here, right even where I'm at. What a beautiful day! What a beautiful day! Putting on milkman's clothes, uh, taking a cow up to a housewife's front door and saying, We've run out of bottles, you'll have to have draught. <laughs> what about Dame Edith Evans? I'll be your Valentine, and you'll be mine. And the things will be cool. We will move along together. That's <laughs> all Of course, we all know that it was given to little Jimmy Osmond. cook in all the world is my loving wife, Calpurnia. The woman bakes such heavy cakes, the flipping stove's got a hernia. I want to check. You're really wonderful. For a 24 stone color achura soprano, <laughs> Mr. Ted Bates from Little Lambton. We want to thank you. See you next week, Ted. See you next week. That is if the discharge comes through. <laughs> a little joke, friends. A little joke. I want to say. Well, friends, let's meet our, our first sponsor for tonight. Tell me, monsieur, who are you going to introduce to us tonight? Hey, <laughs> well, it's like that here. Hey, hey. It's all right, and I suppose that now it's, it's a good player, hey, good player, hey, 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 hey. Oh, well, that really is a good player. Yes, he really is, yes. And, uh, <laughs> tell me, uh, who you're going to introduce again tonight? Well, you see, what about that nice little... Uh, oh, that? Oh, of course, yes, of course, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about you. I just want to make it like that. Thank you very much, Shani. And what's he going to do for us besides that? Impressionist advocate. I think I was on the other one. Oh, we've got an impressionist on the show. Well, friends, for Mr. Arthur Mullard of Lima, Peru, Opportunity Night. One Hello, everyone, and my lord worshippers everywhere. <laughs> my first impression tonight, the man who became a lifetime in his own legend, <laughs> the immoral Charles Laughton, as Casimodo, the aspect of Notre Dame. <laughs> the bells. Those bells are driving me bleeding mad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
scan from the unconditional flash. So is so not dick, man. Man of uns in eins, zwei, drei, vier, stick your finger in your ear. Really? I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I'm overweight. Well, you're wrong. I am now at the correct weight for a man of six feet, eight inches tall. My height that needs adjusting. 